Hi, uh, another Swift Basics video here, uh, and in this video we're going to be learning about concatenation and interpolation. So, some big words, but understanding their use is pretty straightforward, um, and they are very useful tools to know um, when you are coding. So, by the end of the video, you're going to know what concatenation and interpolation are, why we use them, and then how you can implement them in the Swift programming language. So, let's get started. So first up, what is concatenation and interpolation? Well, concatenation allows you to combine or join string data types together and interpolation allows you to combine or join different data types together. So when we talk about data types um, and we're using words like strings, etc. So data types are just the type of data that we are using. So for example, a string is text and then an integer is a whole number which could also be negative or positive and does include the number zero. So essentially what this is all about is combining different types of data or string data together to formulate in the examples we're going to use to formulate sentences from data that we have stored in variables. So that's essentially where a lot of the use comes from is pulling information that may be stored um, in a variable and then combining that with um, a string that you want to display to the user. So that's probably one of the more common uses of concatenation and interpolation. So this will all probably make a lot more sense if we actually jump in and create it in Swift. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Swift playgrounds, uh, Swift Basics playground here. Um, if you don't have um, a Swift Basics playground set up, um, just go back and check um, my um, older Swift Basics videos and you'll find out how to do that in there. So first thing we're going to do um, is create ourselves a new page. Um, and we're going to call this, um, I'm just going to call it uh, con and int okay so for concatenation interpolation rather than write the entire words out as our page name okay so i'm going to go ahead and close that sidebar and let's go in here and what we will do is firstly create some new variables so i'm going to create uh, two variables uh, one called first name and i'm going to assign that my first name and I'm going to create another variable called surname and I'm going to assign that my surname okay so essentially now what we want to do is combine that information so I want to print off a sentence that says my name is Martin Kolker and I want to use the values that I have stored in first name and surname so the way that we do that with concatenation is with plus symbols. So I want to start with my name is and then what I'm going to do is close my quote marks. I'm going to use the plus sign and I'm going to use my variable name first name. I'm going to put plus. I'm going to add empty quote mark so a quote mark with a space in it and I'll explain why in a second and then lastly I'm going to add my other variable surname so let's go ahead and run the code down here in the bottom right hand corner okay so hopefully we should see that we've printed out my name is Martin Kolker so it's pulled the information being stored in these variables and added it to my string here. Now, there may be a couple of things that you've noticed in this. Firstly, that um, I've left a space here and that we have added in this extra space here. The reason being, if we didn't have that space and we just went plus first name plus surname. So if I do that and then run my code, just see if you can spot what's different. So you can see now that 
my name doesn't have a space in between. So unfortunately with concatenation, when you're using that plus sign, you have to add the um, uh, quotation marks. You have to manually add your own um, spaces in, okay? All right, so what we'll do now is we're gonna do a similar thing, but we're gonna do it with interpolation and we're going to add in an extra variable called age. And in here, we're going to store an integer. So remember, an integer is a whole number, so it can be positive, negative, also includes zero. So I essentially wanna print that same sentence, but also say, I am so many years old, whatever is stored in my age variable. So interpolation is probably simpler than concatenation in the sense that we don't have to worry about putting the space uh, quotations in. So we don't have to manually put our own spaces in. They are added for us. We also only have to put quote marks in once, one at the beginning and one at the end. So like you would normally in a print statement if you were just printing a string, that's all you need to do in here. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So my name is, and I'm going to go backslash, first name, close my bracket, backslash bracket surname, and I am backslash bracket age years old. Okay, so you can see as soon as I closed my quote marks, all of my interpolation, okay, so my variable names are now highlighted in white. So I can see where I've inserted my different variables. So let's go ahead and run my code. Click on here, add the viewer. So you can see it says, my name is Martin Kolker and I am 35 years old. So interpolation has a lot of benefits. It can be used for any data type. So again, we have a sentence here that has a string, variable storing strings, and then we have our variable storing an integer. Um, with concatenation, you can only store, uh, you can only do it, uh, combine string type data types together. If you try and do it with numbers or integers, you will get error messages. So if you're doing something simple, you're just combining one small string with a variable, concatenation may be suitable. For a lot of other situations, interpolation makes the most sense. So there you go, you're now ready to start implementing concatenation and interpolation into your Swift code. I hope this has been useful for you and I'll see you in the next video.